I don't know. I haven't looked at their roster. Is he on the squad? He is. All right. Is he doing Burnsy things? Of course. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can't wait till they come. He pitched a game and then got lit up the next game. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, people, coast to coast, all you millions of followers out there. And we know there are millions. We are the Bushmen of Christy Pitts coming at you hot June 8th here, 2022. You know, you can find us at the Bushman One. Be sure to follow our social. And I have a couple other Bushmen with me. My name is G Hill. I'm in the house. I'll pass it over to my bro, Elliot. Looks pretty grumpy over there going after umps. How are you doing? Are you in the building? Ah, uh, that was a bit of an inconsistent strike zone, but I'm in the building. <laughs> yes, guy. <laughs> and then I, there's a creepy dude coming in off the right. It looks like he's kind of taking a deuce. He's having a problem. Is that Ray? Ray, are you in the building? <laughs> You know it, finest ponytail <laughs> in the IBL. Let's go yes. here, ready to make it. Greasiest ponytail is right. Greasy. What's going yeah. on, boys? I know it's been a minute. We have uh, haven't done a group bush in a while. Our, our last, obviously, was was uh, with Tack. Any highlights from the interview with Garrett Takamatsu on the last one, boys? Any takeaways? Uh, I think getting the inside scoop on that, that bike injury was pretty solid. And just the old couple giving them the look, like, one of those days. <laughs> He's all stuffed up and bleeding on the hands. That was yeah. pretty good. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, I thought I wrote down, like, the sack nasties where he was oh, explaining man. just the toughest meal all the JUCO baseball players know about. It's just a paper bag with, you know, a couple pieces of bread, some cheese, and then some, I don't know, prison-style uh, – uh, apple that you can make liquor out of it. It sounds like it's so fermented, but that's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, the Bushman, it's been a minute. We obviously did a Wellen trip. Unfortunately, you boys, I know, couldn't make it, but we just want to give a shout out to Wellen. This, Ryan this, put on a hell of a show. Oh, they did make it yeah, out. Yeah, this asshole made it. He went. He got it. Yep, we yeah, did we, make it out. We did bring out their science. Um, no, shout out JP for, for yeah. one of the Bushmen for doing this handiwork. I know, shout we were just JP. chatting. We were just chatting before the pod started, man. That's that's fine work. That's an exacto cut job with okay. spray glue on a cut mat, like professional. Surgical. Surgical. Professional. Professional. Surgical work. <laughs> yeah. So we, we thought that was awesome. We had a great time. Um, you know, well in people, this group puts it on great. In between every inning, there's something new from the game ops, tossing hot dogs, donut races. You know, we obviously kissed the fish. Our fellow Bushman, JP, is from Newfoundland, so – he probably had his own cod that he brought with him that he just <laughs> broke out or jackfish. But, uh, yeah, and then a couple signings for the Leafs. You know, they keep doing things. I know they've already played a few games now that this pod's come out. But our boy, the Iceman, the flashiest man in the IBL, Connor Lewis, welcome <laughs> back, sir. And then, obviously, Undertaker, the closer, the scariest man in the IBL. Elliot, the grimmest man in the IBL? Just grimmest. so savagely grim. <laughs> Dustin Richardson, welcome back. So we just wanted to get into that. So, so uh, and what about our new lights out five foot two, tiny? Actually, sorry, big T. Capital, capital T. T. True capital Ray. T. True Ray. Pitcher, you say a Terioka. We see you. He said he's done a. He's come in great. He's already had three appearances so Love far. It. So that, welcome that, to uh, the that's... bush. That start he had in London was magnificent. We ended up losing the game, but it was a pitcher's duel through about six innings, and I think he threw five and five and a third. Yeah. Racked up some Ks. He was Brown, looking awesome. Brownlee yeah. took him for a ride, but Brownlee takes everyone for a ride. So it was yeah. only a matter of time. Clean, clean. <laughs> He's been going off this year. <clears throat> we'll get into that. But boys, so why don't we recap some of the games? So Wednesday, June first, the first night game of the season. At the pits, the Leafs taking Barry to task with the 4 nothing win. Couple Please. notes from this game. Sloan, hell of a start. Nine strikeouts, three Chadwicks. Ray <laughs> has the jersey. He wants you to sign it. He's been begging for it. Nice job. The boys as a whole came up with 12 strikeouts. That's times three times what? Four. Four Chadwicks, 4 nothing. The crowd was intense. On their end, they had their pitcher, Adam Kahn. So this guy was dealing for a bit, but then we somehow got in his head where he had the same routine where he would step, 
Yes. <laughs> he would look down yeah. and then dangle his arm. So basically the entire pits was chanting, Step, look, noodle. noodle. <laughs> <laughs> Step, look. And I think we, we got in his well, head. He made, he made the mistake of leaning into the noodle. He like threw a couple long dangle arms in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're inviting it. You're inviting that kind of that kind of chaos. <laughs> yeah. The best part about the noodle chants, and they do come up often, is that it'll somehow lead into like Nona not liking your dish, or like salt that water is usually thrown out. They grow, it's 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 a, it's an organic growth process. It begins somewhere, yeah. and it leads us down magical trails of heckling. Right. Right. You never know where it's going to go psychological yeah. warfare people but yeah i thought that was a heck of a win uh, i know they had another reliever in there evan Sewells, who he was posted all over the instagram and twitter for barry we were we were really giving him hell for being uh, an ig superstar and then brad grievison the elder statesman oh yeah came in <laughs> to close it up so yeah uh, well we actually were speaking with um i think it was Brady, the, the third baseman for, for, for Barry, and he came up and he was telling us, he was like, that hang it up chant was hilarious. <laughs> because <laughs> he's like 39 years old, they're like, get off the mound. And we were just wow. chanting, hang it up. And he oh. said it was jokes. I had forgot well, we even went there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a Wednesday night game, folks. How, like, just... how can we even forget one of probably our finest and most creative heckles of all time yet to date, our new favorite player, Tyler Plumpton, uh, oh, Barry yeah. Cat himself. <laughs> and let I mention our newest sponsor to the Bush podcast, Tyler's Grocery Store that we just imagined that he has. <laughs> Plumpton's Groceries, highest prices in the North. Yeah, it's Tyler, the... we love you, and we love your grocery store, and we're rolling with it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's the best, so worst, fake <laughs> produce store in all of Northern Ontario. That, that, my, friend, that, that, my, that my friends, is a perfect example of – what a Bushman chant can turn into. So, you know, we see players that come up, we see Plumpton, and I think it was Elliot somehow comes up with, hey, that sounds like a grocery chain in like cottage country. <laughs> and then someone else chimes no. in and goes, well, it's probably overpriced, which then comes back to us heckling Tyler Plumpton saying that he has the most overpriced romaine lettuce Anywhere yeah. north of the Kawarthas. <laughs> the crummiest asparagus in town. Oh, High prices, too. You amazing. ain't getting easy. And, and the best part, too, people, is that when uh, it got posted to social that we do, which Elliot does in Matt admirably after every <laughs> home game, the three bushes of the game, which he does a great job. Be sure to tune into that. Um, but we, we, we wrote in it, brought to you by Plumpton's, the most expensive grocery store in northern Ontario. And Instagram prompted us to be like, is this a brandable content? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so Tyler, we want to get, we're not, no free ads here on Bush no. Banter. We, we want, we want a coupon for a $12 head of like, <laughs> like iceberg, iceberg lettuce. Iceberg, yeah. <laughs> iceberg lettuce. Free, <laughs> free sliced iceberg lettuce. Yeah. yeah. Well, so that was good. That was good. Another thing to note out, boys, obviously, Danny Mara, what's he eating these days? Pulls off his second home run of the season, folks. He hadn't had a home run since 2017. He's ripped off two this year. Danny, you've been putting in work in the offseason. What's going on? It's the it's the meals on Sunday, family meals on Sunday, and boys. He's definitely talking smack to Justin right now. He's oh, walking yeah. around the house big time and oh, he's like <laughs> bumping into him as they yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? But yeah, oh. you know, I think it's because uh, if we all remember last season, he came within probably this oh. much of hitting a grand slam. Grand slam. The guy jumped we'll up. Never forget. It. And he was stewing about it off. He just started getting his lift on. He's just staring Justin down each morning. He's going <laughs> for the home run title. He's going to get Oh, wow. There's a new, a new Mara taking the title. And also McCaskey, our, our player this year, he got his first homer. So shout out, McCaskey shout out on the shout case. Out right there. Shout Always right there. on the case, Detective McCaskey. He's a for tough sure. cop, but he gets the job done. 
So next game after that, boys, we uh, we went uh, Friday, June third, went into London, Ontario. The Leafs they unfortunately take the loss four to two. Uh, Cleve Brownlee, he's he's having a, a resurgence, that's for sure. Um, but like Ray said, um, you know, shout out to uh, our pitcher, our new pitcher, you say Terioka, five innings pitch, two Ks. You know, he's holding it together. Uh, Ryan Wells, you know, had a sort of a tough spot there. Uh, and then Adam Mara came in. Uh, and then obviously our boy Nagorski, who's a big fan of the bush, apparently. So we show you out Nagorski. Um, uh, another note here from that game. I don't know. Did you guys have any comments on that game? We, we tend to watch these on the live stream. <laughs> and shout out Noah Smith. Your guys' operation in London is the greatest for the IBL. There's multiple camera angles. You guys do a great job. Oh, yeah. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. My one little thing is, boys, we're going to get back to London this year for sure. And we got to get a win, man. How many? Yeah. If we, we're like, oh, in seven or eight trips down the 401, lo- losing it in London. You know, it's an old school park, too. And like <clears throat> the visitor's dressing room is like cavernous and like it's oh, like for sure. they oh, crank yeah. the heat up or something and like. Only Stop. lit by candle. Yeah, it's like ancient, like, yeah. <laughs> there's no electricity. The door is open so fans can just walk by and crab you while you're getting ready. Yeah. Like, it's it's like one of those, like, like, old school drawbridge kind of things. Like, you're a <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like from Gladiator. Like, they're stuck yeah. in there. And, like, you come out to the cavern. <laughs> the Leafs have been there for a day. They're all pale. Like, they yeah. haven't eaten. You know what's but, great though too? Like even on the live streams, it it's it sounds like a pretty hostile environment. And we know that it's there's a good crew of people that are out there watching. And Dan, you can really hear it coming through, which is great. Yeah, Definitely yeah. a nice thing for the games to have that kind of atmosphere out there. And That's you know, it, and <clears throat> that was gonna like mention that, like the game itself and what like, the crowd got into it because it was a tight game. We ended up scoring those two runs. The bottom of the ninth. That's what we've been doing on the road this year. We're letting it kind of get away from us right off the bat. Then we come through hard, yes, classic yes, Leafs style rally yes. in the ninth. Exactly. That's you know what? that's a perfect that's a perfect segue though know, into the Sunday June fifth game. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't make it, boys. I was stuck in the Columbus airport for about six hours trying to make it back, but I did watch the point streak. I'd like to know where our live stream stuff's at. I know sometimes it's a little more challenging at the, like just literally setting up in a park. They do set up the tent. Um, hope you guys can get that back going. But I did follow it on Point Street while I was in the airport. I swear to God, there was one time with one of their relievers that I could hear you guys chirping because I was just <laughs> watching it being like walk, like single or whatever it was. <laughs> that but, was probably pants. Another uh, great example of the magic and the just don't really know where it's going to take you. One yeah. of the relievers comes in. He may have had a pair of pants on that was probably three to four sizes too small. <laughs> just tight. They're painted on, eh? Painted. Oh, yeah. painted like Robbie with, Ray? Robbie paint, Ray tight pants? Robbie Ray-esque for sure. Wow. Wow. So, same, right. same, same tailor. It looked like that. It looked like it was the <laughs> yeah. same job. Yeah. Well, let's so, give the people it was the actually, info, though, boys. Yeah, so, it was actually, up. gee, your, your friend Pat, who's a beauty, yeah. came out to the game, and we were trying to find a good way to get on this guy. And Pat just went, your pants are tight. And the same thing like you explained before, the bush just organically drove into it. And we were shouting a lot of things. They got we were shouting a lot of stuff. Polyester, that was yeah, a great amazing. one. Apple Actually, bottom Marshall's, jeans. Boots Marshall's girlfriend was like that. It was a great heckle. Just polyester. That's just amazing. pants. Just general pants. Just general yeah. pants heckle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just started chanting pants. <laughs> oh, pants. my God. <laughs> it must confuse the people when they're getting heckled. It's like, where, like, what is going on? Well, I guess this guy's pants were so tight that it's quite obvious what you oh, guys yeah. are referring to. But like you were saying, uh, my, my good buddy, Patty, I was going to say there's been two Bush person converts here over the last week, folks. My good buddy, Patty, came out. He was just casually there. I was in Columbus. He goes, 
I just threw out to the boys like tight pants, and he's like, and you're and the bush just took with it and oh. ran. Yeah. Dude, was so, that his first game? Uh, I think second. He did a one last year. Yeah, okay, that one last year. Yeah, he, and then our, our our good natural. buddy from the island, Hot Carl, comes down. <laughs> he loves a baseball game, and he was absolutely captured. But to go back to the game, boys. So four three, the Leafs versus Barry. This is an eleven inning game, folks. It was back and forth. All games. Sorry, G versus Guelph. Sorry, versus right, Guelph. Guelph my bad. Yeah. My bad. Correction. <laughs> no Riley. What the hell, man? Showtime. No showtime. Us? There must have been a fire in Stratford or something. Ah. Yeah, hundred um, percent. But both teams score in the tenth, and then a walk off by our boy Luca the Boss Boscarino. Uh, you guys said that we went through six pitchers. The Leafs did. Uh, Dominguez and Terrioco did six innings. Then it was Amara who closed it out, apparently, which is amazing. On their end, Custud- Custudio, Claudio Custodio. Custudio, eight innings pitched, 116 pitches, 11 Ks, only gives up one earned run. Then, like Ray said, tight pants, polyester, whatever you want to call them. Nelson Mercado comes in, two <laughs> innings pitched. Gives up two runs, but apparently there was an additional run. I don't know. You guys need to fill me in, too. Oh, okay. What okay. The hell right. at it got meeting? off the hop with a very hostile environment okay. in, in the pits. You know what? Their starting pitcher was dealing. Oh, yeah. And I think apparently he had only given up one or two walks so far in his maybe two or three, three starts. Three walks, three, starts. In 20, three walks in 21 innings. Wow. So – you know, I'm not saying the umps were bad. You know, from our vantage point, we can definitely tell the balls and strikes <laughs> yeah. through the like tarp. 250 feet away. <laughs> on the we can tell clearly. Anything. I'm yeah. not saying anything. Uh, go but, on. You know, first couple innings go through. I think he may have walked three or four batters right off the bat. Wow. And it fired up the Guelph coach. He got into the ear of the umpire. There was yelling. There was screaming. He gets tossed. This like wasn't in the first, first inning? inning. Yeah, yeah. first wow. inning. It wasn't it was the in-between uh the, they were coming back up to bat. And right. the Guelph manager came out. We're all like turning to each other like, oh good first inning. And we look back and suddenly he's in his face like pumping his hand, pointing. We wow. thought he just needed to get home to Guelph. So he's like, I gotta get tossed boys. <laughs> <laughs> we've seen that pulled before where sometimes a manager gets tossed early and there's for, they're, they're from a team that's far away like Brantford or London and we're like I think he just wanted to get home for dinner man. <laughs> that, that sounds like a Dean move from Hamilton uh, yeah. Dean, or, Dean or would for sure yeah, get, get tossed so he can make it to a Motorhead concert out in Kitchener <laughs> I love it I love it but uh, boys I saw maybe you could fill me in you know we always do yeah. an error counter uh, I noticed that Custodio had one and LaRue had one. Do you guys remember what happened there? The Custodio yeah. one, who actually I found out today was an infielder as recently as 2017. No uh, way. Yeah, I, I was reading an old IBL article because I love this league. <laughs> <laughs> it mentioned Custodio. And, but anyways, it, it like was a slow roller to him. All you had to do is pick it up and turn and fire it over to first base. I can't remember who hit it. And he just fumbled it down the line. And his third baseman was right there who also had to play on it. But because Custodia went for it, the third yeah. baseman couldn't get it. And it was right in front of the bush. And we let him know. <laughs> that first baseman, none other than home run derby wow, winner Garten. Josh Garton with probably the finest yeah. bleach blonde mullet you have ever seen in your life Seriously? it was phenomenal Glorious. sparkling in the sunlight like did he hit a know, digger no i didn't no. hit a digger we kept him over four i think all nice. day and jordan pompey dalton pompey, dalton pompey. oh we yeah kept, kept that's what up. i was gonna say uh yeah folks an ex mlb player as recent as i don't know maybe four or five years ago uh, Dalton Pompey signs with uh, Guelph Royals, and 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 I was tracking it on my point streak, and I think he went. It was it was eleven inning game. I think he went zero for six. So dude, we were the in the bush. We all must have been chirping. We were chirping. We were chirping. We were. But you know what? It was a tight game. It was a oh, pitching yeah. duel. Like you said, what do we have? Eleven Ks. Twelve the boys. Twelve Ks. Or sorry, oh, sorry for, for the Leafs. 
don't have that information, you're putting me uh, on the spot. It, but let's it was go probably, it was, probably like, it was probably it was up there. It was up there. The, yeah. the boys sometimes, you know, I kind of think, you know, with our cheering and getting into the pitcher's head, like the boys sometimes like to just hit for dingers. So they're they're doing home run cuts. Right. Maybe we could just lay in some base hits. Just, but just, I don't have a problem with it at all. We love it. But but I mean, like you know, all of our all of our wins this year have come via the small ball. So like we're right. executing. And actually, right. on a note of the winning hit for that game in the eleventh inning from our boy Boscarino, that was his first hit of the year, dude. It was amazing. Wow, it's really? solid contact, beautiful double right off the wall. But we're jumping ahead a little bit. You know what? The game was tight right through, right into the extra innings. There was probably the wildest call by the umpire who oh, was yeah. not even on third base. I don't even think there was an umpire on second base. They called that the batter or the sorry, the runner who was on third base for Guelph. We're probably in the tenth inning, top of the tenth. No, no, that was that was that was before extra. Innings. Top of the eleventh. I know that was eight inning. It was before extras. That's really? what kept it. Yeah, that's what kept it. Oh my high God. going into extras. How any of the umpires could have made that call that he may have left early was wild. Yeah, so so to explain <laughs> explain to people, so I, I believe, Elliot, you're right. It was the yeah. eighth inning, and the Leafs, I'm watching this, like, on point streak. So as people understand, it's literally just a diamond, and it shows you the count. <laughs> and, like, it's a hit. like, it's like, that's how, like, it's like, like, honestly, it's something out of the 80s or something. But it's great to follow. So uh, the Leafs were up two to one, and uh, Guelph ends up getting some some runners on. They scored. They, they scored one run. They tie it up to make yeah. it two all. And then, as I'm looking at point streak, I see sack fly. Uh, Guelph's up three two, and I'm like, ah, oh, crap. And then we get out of the inning for some reason. And on point streak, I'm like, what's going on? So we're down three two, and then it changes to two all again and then i'm looking at this information but i'm more looking at our whatsapp group chat and like people are just like he left early and i'm just like oh <laughs> yeah well so, so the like, guy I, was tagging at third on a sack fly left early and well yeah so, went home what a call. and then the what a ump the ump didn't call safe yeah. so he was standing there and then justin realized it wow. just randomly and then threw it back to salazzo on third nice. then he the runner got tagged out. Wow. Well, he got, he got stepped on the bag because he, yeah. he didn't tag up. And, but the, the bush was confused. And, like, that, like, that game for the umps, like, they were hearing it from both teams. <laughs> the <break laughs> zone was out of control. And just the calls that were being made. I think after the game, there was a confrontation after that throw, that play where the guy didn't tag up. And then I think at the end of the game, Guelph players went to the umps for, like, Back up in their soup kitchen, and being like, "Oh man, why didn't you throw us out? Our manager got to get back home." Yeah, or at least Doc there was Doc there on third base, or was that the Wednesday night game? Doc, uh, thir the third base umpire. Oh, that, that was the guy who looks like yeah. Back to the <laughs> Doc Future. Brown. Yeah, yeah, Doc, yeah, Doc yeah, Brown, yeah. that guy is the best right. umpire ever. We need another we deep IBL deep cut. Yeah, dude, he's got the, the he's got the he's, he's got for, the wizard's uh, beard now, though. Oh yeah, I know exactly. I know. So let's Amazing. go to the week ahead, boys. So Thursday, which is tomorrow in, in whatever this world is, uh, June 7th, we go into Barry at Vintage Throne Stadium, which is that a new name for yeah. the Barry Stadium? Yeah. Vintage what is that? Throne they changed that. Stadium. They changed that this year. Has anybody done a quick Google search on what Vintage Throne even is? Like, we'll let, let Rail do some start. digging. It's, it's, uh, re it's refurbished toilets. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> some brass. Yeah. Brass ass. Just some <laughs> sick porcelain right there. Oh, just some rusted throne. Uh, then they go Friday, June 10th. They go into Brantford, and then they do a double. They're coming back. Brantford's coming into town Sunday, June 12th. So we're looking forward to that. Boys, I thought, you know, um, don't have a ton of time here. We do – uh, some some trivia, you know, that went really well last time. So I thought we'd do it again. Now, this will be players trivia. Um, and for you to uh, ring in, let's say you got to buzz in. 
Undertaker for D Rich. Undertaker. All right. All right. So let's do it. Who is leading the league? So these are league wide stats. Keep in mind, people, most teams have played, you know, eight to 10 games, let's say. Who is leading in batting average in the league with 481? Undertaker. That was a tie. That so was tight. I'll have Elliot, you both, you when I it. count to three, release your answer. All right. One, two, three. Cleveland Brown Bradley. tree. Oh, they both got it. That's <laughs> not even a half point. That's a point each. That's right. Cleveland Brownlee leading the league with 481. Cleveland with the resurgence. That's amazing. All right, next. Who is leading the league in home runs with four? But it's actually tied. It's actually tied? There's two people with oh, four. Oh, well, uh, Undertaker. Elliot. Cleve's got four. Cleve's got four. Uh, second one. Ooh. Three, two. Showtime? One. No, Ray, you can steal. Oh, man. Well, Cleveland and... Uh, I'll give you a hint. A silvery Mule Gatani. Oh, my <laughs> Yes. <laughs> is it is it our boy Josh Garton? Josh Garton with oh, wow, he's runs. got four dings, eh? From I can what? tell by that cut, he's been he's been hitting the gym or the yeah, guy. There you go. All right, say. all right. It, so it was uh, it's it's like yeah, that thing was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what did you call it? A silvery mug, <laughs> mulligatani. <laughs> <laughs> like That's the soup amazing. you get in a cafeteria it's like oh we got mulligatani it's like what is that it's like tomato juice and like noodles <laughs> and like maybe some carrots <laughs> with some fine silvery hair hanging off the back <laughs> right, right. <laughs> all right who is leading the league in strikeouts and how many this is elliot your favorite it's a double barrel you got to name the player and the number of strikeouts uh Undertaker, no. Oh. Custodio with thirty-one. You got one of two, Ray. You could come over the top with the steal if you nail the strikes. I'm gonna say within two on each side. Oh man, Custodio with twenty-nine. No, no, no higher, like, boys. He just put up. I'm a saying level. thirty, thirty-five. Custodio has 45 strikeouts this year. 45? He's 11 ahead of the wins leader, Owen Boone. Whoa. <laughs> Put that math in your head. Whoa. Where did they find that guy? He must be. He, he was an infielder. Custodio. I was literally reading an article Holy about the, about crap. the field okay. manager from Hamilton complaining about uh, the league having these sick imports that come in that are dope as hell. And Custodio was one of them. He was an also, infielder. Tough name to get at Claudio Custodio. The Custodian. You know, you'd think the it was custodian. simple. We did. We did. We, did. we, we, threw we that were out. trying it. We, we were trying it. The sawdust. Get in, the man. sawdust out. Sweep I mean, it up. We, clean we, it up. We, we got him. We, we tried it all. <laughs> he was a vault. For the first couple of innings, he was a vault. He shut oh. us down. It was almost like Ocean's Eleven. We were trying to crack that. We were trying to figure out how to get into his head. Oh, I still, God. I still, I still blame that on things. There was a lot of strikeout lookings that were just on some tough bitches, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a little bit wild. For sure. All right, the final one. Who's got the lowest ERA, and what is the ERA? And I want you to be specific to the hundredth of a decimal. <laughs> so if you get the tenth, right? But the other one writes inaccurate. All right, all right. I'm gonna go undertake it. Okay. This is just for fun. I'm going to say Ben Braun at <laughs> 1.08. Braun way higher. Braun's definitely at 5.89. <laughs> Undertaker. Undertaker. All right. I'm going to go Owen Boone at a 1.32. Wait, Ron, hold on. Ron. Hold on. Qualifier. This is, is this starting pitchers? I, I think that's how they sort it on the site. I'm okay, pretty yeah, sure. Listen, you know this yeah. picture. So check that out. We just said Claudio Castudio, I'm butchering his name every time, has 45 strikeouts so far. 11 strikeouts ahead of Owen Boone, who's leading the league and wins. Jose Arias with a .72. <laughs> Barry Baycat? Barry yeah. Baycat? Jose? Pretty sure. 
Yeah. Oh, area. Point seven point two. Seven two. Wow. Dude, last year he had like. Wow. Was it last year or the year before? Uh, I think two like, years ago he had one single walk for the yeah. entire year and had like a point <laughs> three five ERA. <laughs> crazy. That's incredible. <laughs> Uh, boys, we're coming up against it, but I guess like um, you know, a so couple much things to maybe talk to... about this week, man. Yeah. See what happens when we have an interview. We got just time. We're right down to time the wire. flies. Well, I just wanted to give a shout out, like we said, our our, our new closer, Chris Nagorski. Apparently, he's a big fan of the Bushman. We respect Love you. Him. We will get you on, but there there is a player we want to get on before, and you know, he might have you know likes Thomas the Tank Engine. Choo choo. Zalazo, we see you. Make some time on your calendar. Come on, we'll even so do it while next. you're on the train. We'll zoom you in from the train. Yeah, Let's I would go. love that. Come join I the would, boys. That would be great. That would be great. But so also, we're calling you out. Uh, we're going to normally, folks, do, like we said, like try to do it once a week. And it sounds like the interview things are pretty fun. So we're, we're going to try and sprinkle those in more often. Like we said, follow us at the Bushman one uh, with the number one. Um, you know, we've been loving the support. People have been throwing out stories to us. We've been adding it. We're seeing it grow. And like, like we said, you know, I know everyone here, whenever they come down to the pits has a great time. I met my boy Ray today. I'm actually trying to get a custom like Leafs jacket that I'm making. And oh, his yeah. business partner was there and he was just like, this is an amazing time. Like, <laughs> so I know everyone loves it. We love it. We want to keep promoting it um the leaf store is back people it's on they have the fullback rig can you verify this we got yeah, they, they got the fullback hat and game war jerseys it's like this get. like this <laughs> the fish. but the fullback hat people we've seen you all been asking us about it they're available they're available your boy al um i don't know anything else to mention boys we um, that's it. I, I think just going to say a quick shout out to our boy Garrett Takamatsu, who's been hit, was hit five times in the four games he played this season for the Leafs in the IBL, and has been hit four times in three games that he's played for his new team, the Quebec City Capitals. So, <laughs> Tack, we love you, man, but like, got to get off the dish. <laughs> yeah, you're crowding the plate, Tack. You're crowding the plate, Tack. But yeah, we always support it. We always love to support people. Get down to the get down to the games Sunday. There's another Wednesday, June 15th. Go Leafs, go. Go Leafs, Let's go, boys. It, boys. Brantford this go. weekend on Sunday. Can't Woo. wait.